Hey everybody, you have a computer in for service. It's in due to a no start issue. It's an Acer refurbished machine. I replaced the motherboard with a refurbished pull roughly a little over a year ago, something like that. Back in, I think, May or June of last year. Now, if you have a look at this thing, know something odd. It's not running. No lights. The exhaust fan is not turning. Power supply fan isn't running. It's not running. But look what the CPU fan is doing. It's getting power from somewhere. It's getting power from a 5 volt standby rail. Something I've never seen before on a machine like this. Now the motherboard itself looks perfectly fine. I don't see any blown caps. Um, yeah, no blown caps. I replaced the power supply on on the spot in the office. Even if replacing the power supply, it still did not resolve the issue. I can press this power button, and it's not, and it's not going to do anything. If we look carefully, it is plugged in all the way. That shouldn't be a problem. Very, very, very strange. So what I'm going to do is see if we can get this thing started off. So I'm going to use a paper clip. And insert the paper clip to the green and black wires on the power supply itself. See if we can forcefully start it. Interesting. So let me unplug it. I won't stand by is now dead. Let's unplug the motherboard connections and manually try to start this power supply. Yeah, the remaining hardware is still plugged up, so you'll like if the power supply does turn on, you'll hear the hard drive and things like that spin up. So let me just jumper these connections here to make the power supply turn on. And it should start right up. As you may have heard, the um, hard drive spun up. So the power supply is in fact working. The power supply in this machine I believe is also fine as well. So let's plug it back in. And try to start again, you'll see the same thing happen. I mean, like, as soon as I plug in power to it, now it's going to start up. But it's not posting. Now the fans are running wide open. Unplug it. Very weird. Sound like it might be a motherboard issue of some sort. Now let's see if I can manually power it off. You can see now we have lights, but it's not posting. Hold this in and see if I can. Now it's going to post. Very, very strange. Okay. 
what may have happened here is I think the CMOS battery might have went dead. It's telling me we have issues with the floppy drive. And there is in fact a floppy drive installed. See if it kept the date and time. Okay, date and time is in fact there. Okay, I see what the problem is. What why it gave the floppy disk error. The floppy disk isn't plugged in. Okay, it has held time. You can see there's the bias. Let me shut her down. Okay, when I press the power button, it just runs the fans wide open. But when I press the power button again to actually, quote unquote, turn the machine on, it does that. It's actually booting in the windows now. Yeah, that's really strange. So now I got to wait on this thing to start, you know, get up in the window so I can shut it back down and not go forcefully turn it off. That is like beyond weird. Power supply fan is running wide open. So what I may do is I may swap the original power supply back into it. Okay, you see it's it's loading windows just fine. You see the hard drive LED. It's like there's a CD and the CD drive as well. Yeah, this particular power supply came out of any machines. Probably not the best 300 watt supply out there. And it's not a very fast machine either. These things are loaded down pretty heavily. Mainly try to shut it down by pressing the power button. That will send a um, ACPI shutdown request to the operating system, as you see. The reason why I did that is because it was still loading things and the Explorer wasn't responding. Now let's see what happens when it when it um, quote unquote shuts down. Very odd issue. Made to spend a little hiccup. In a case like this, see, look at there. Now the fans run wide open. That is really odd. Unplug it. Same thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap power supplies and see if it shows the same behavior. Yeah, there might be something wrong with that power supply by chance. I don't know for sure. Again, it was showing the same symptoms earlier with the original power supply. Um, well, the the symptoms it was showing is it was not powering on at all. So let me grab the original power supply tool and we'll swap it back in and see what it does. Okay, I've unplugged the power connections from the motherboard. Let's see what it does. Okay, so the power supply itself is not powering back on, on its own without being paper clipped, so to speak. Well, let's go ahead and swap it and see what it does. Actually, what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'll go ahead and swap it, but the issue may be with the motherboard. So I'm going to put the original power supply back in it since it was working fine.
Very, very strange. Press the power button and it's and it actually posts. Yeah, it's a strange issue if I've ever seen one. One last thing I could try is taking out the CMOS battery, waiting a little bit and then putting it back in, maybe you know, just do a hard reset of the CMOS. But I'm thinking it's an issue with the hardware. Probably with the south bridge. Usually I believe that's the one that's responsible for giving the power on and power off commands to the power supply. Yeah, really, really strange issue. Let me check the CMOS battery itself and see what kind of voltage we have. It may be due for replacement. Even though it was keeping time just fine. If it reads out 3 volts, I'm putting it back in. Well, we are at only 1.5 volts, which is incredibly low. It should be rough, about 3 volts. Well, let's plug this thing back in without the CMOS battery and see how it behaves. Yeah, very, very strange. Well, this is going to slap in a new battery. I doubt it'll change anything, but slap it in there and go from there. If it doesn't fix the issue, I may still talk with the client because he said really this thing rarely ever cuts off. They usually just leave them running. And usually, I mean, the things the thing works fine provided it's actually up and running. So, let's go ahead and change out this battery, brand new battery, which by the way, if you're a computer tech and need a lot of these CMOS batteries, you can buy them off of Amazon for like dirt cheap. I bought like a pack of 20 of them for like I think less than 10 bucks, Sony brand too. Okay, a brand new battery. <laughs> that is so freaking weird. I've never seen I never seen nothing like happen. Press the button. Well, now we need to set up the um, bias because we did actually change out the battery. The battery was getting low on voltage, so it was a good practice to go ahead and change it. So there's a hardware monitor for those who care. Very, very limited. It tells you. The uh, fan speeds and the processor temperature. Set that to stay off. Doubt that would change anything.
So let's um, press a button. <laughs> it does that. So if you press the power button, it's fine. It starts right up. As long as it's running, it's fine, but you gotta shut it down. It doesn't cut power to the power supply. So, anyway, so anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'll speak with the owner. Considering he rarely ever shuts this thing off, he may just want to leave it like it is. He's actually, he's actually sort of an IT guy too, may not really care about this issue. Otherwise, I'll be replacing this motherboard. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.